Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today is Monday, which is usually my Sunday, and I have some tedious plant chores that have been nagging at me for weeks now. So rather than staring at them for the next week, I'm gonna take care of all of that today. So let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to do, oh my God, you see my bug zapper right there? And stay strapped. But the first thing I wanted to do, well, I actually don't want to do because I have to deal with this prop box, guys. I went to go water it and I seen little bugs crawling around and I kind of haven't touched it since. So I really don't want to touch that prop box. Luckily, there's a few things I have to do before I even pot those up, which is cleaning off some pond and finding some vessels to put them in. I do want to have smaller vessels because I want the roots to be more tight bound so I can hopefully have a Hoya bloom for me in the future. So let's find some vessels and clean some pond first. I honestly don't even want this many Hoya obovata and I'm kind of mad that I propagated my one big plant that I had. I should have just left it alone but it was in soil and really hard to pop back up altogether. So here we are with like a thousand Hoya obovata. <laughs> But I do have this pond that we're going to go rinse off in the kitchen. This came from my two caladium that I had potted up. I ended up tossing them because I repotted them recently into this pot both together and, and they started dying. So I kind of just tossed them rather than stressing myself out trying to revive them. And I'm using the pond to pot up my Hoya obovada. But also the Pink Symphony Caladium bulbs are pretty inexpensive and really easy to grow. So if I want another one in the future, it's not that hard to come by. Okay, enough rambling. You have to go clean this off. But I did get something new to clean off pond. I wanted to show you that I got this extra large strainer to clean my pond. And it's been super helpful because my last strainer, oh my God, it was so small. I was cleaning like a handful of pond at a time. just sanitized it with steaming hot water because the lechuza pond is mixed in with my pond and oh, I thought that was a bug and they have these little tiny balls of fertilizer and I don't want to put like soap or peroxide on the mixture because what if it absorbs and it just like leaks into the plant I want to show you what this looks like but I know I'm gonna spill water all over the floor maybe I can put something under it oh duh. I got this when I first started messing with plants. <laughs> How corny. Just slide it on top of here like that so it can drip in there. This is what my clean pond looks like. A Little bit of Leca in there. But this is what we're gonna use to pot up the Hoya obovata cuttings. So now we need to find some vessels for it. Also, I wanted to say I really like this strainer because it goes over the sink, which is amazing. And it goes over this big container. So if I wanted to clean like pond that's fresh out of the container it would be super easy with this <sighs> just gonna keep letting it drip over the sink and go find some vessels i think i'm gonna need more vessels than this let me look inside the prop box and stop being scared ah i am scared though Ooh, it's damp in there. This is what it's looking like inside. I think I need, eh, let's, hmm, how much? 
I'm gonna go try to find at least three more vessels. Three more vessels. Because there's a lot of propagations in here. I found these two other vessels. So now before I pot them up, I kind of want to make a concoction that I can dip the propagation in and kind of rinse it off before I pot it up to prevent to prevent any bugs from going anywhere they don't need to be. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. I do have insecticidal soap and some Dawn dish soap. So let's go make that really quick. So I'm in the middle of making my anti bacterial antifungal mixture for my propagations and I realized I wasn't recording but I did use this bucket to mix it in there was one third of this bot there was one third of this bottle of insecticidal soap left so I dumped it in there and then added a dab of dawn dish soap and filled it up with water so I'm gonna dunk my propagations in this bucket before I pot them up I'm just trying to get the bubbles out for the most part since I'm gonna be digging my hands in here. I don't want that all up on my wrists. It's so hot. I have all my stuff right here, ready to prop, <laughs> ready to pot up my propagations. I'm so excited. How are you gonna be able to see this stuff on the floor though? Should I do this on a desk? Let's get it crunk up on it. This is a much better setting for what I'm about to do. I did bring gloves because bugs and I'm just going to start rinsing some of these off the long-awaited dreaded task like every day I'm thinking about this prop box because it's been I would grab my phone but I have gloves on but it's been so long since I filmed that video of making this prop box so it's definitely time to pot them up one more last look. Oops. All these propagations will have a home. This is the first thing of the video. We have a couple more tasks to do, guys. So strap in. It's only gonna be about a matter of time. I'm starting to lose your mind. And all eyes. <coughs> Look at this one guys, huge. Just gonna get some of the sphagnum moss off of this one first. Oh my god, imagine I ripped off all the roots. I just don't want this bucket to be full of sphagnum moss, you know? And I'm dunking the whole thing under because you never know where those bugs are residing. You know? Oops. Okay, okay. Ew, what is that? On the back of that leaf. That little dot on the back of that leaf. I don't want it to be like an egg or something. Like, how gross would that be? It's not coming off, so I'm just gonna leave it alone at this point. Like, I don't know what it is. I always see little tiny bugs. Maybe it's because I'm looking for them. I just am kind of pulling them out to see what they look like now. Wow, these roots are so long, guys. Crazy. I hate sphagnum moss. It really gets stuck everywhere. Like, legit everywhere i've been having a lot of success with water propagations i will be showing you some propagation updates in this video as well oh yeah i got a lot of it off nice i think i'm gonna have to rinse these off with water after or should i not yeah let's not and say we did I have this one Hoya Obovada in my office window and I went too long without watering it. I watered it a few days ago though and I don't think it's sucking up any water because it's still flat and limp. 
which scares me because it's one of my most beautiful Hoya Obovada. Oh, this is tangled. Oh, oh wait. That was the last one to clean off. Bam. I have some Dino Grow Foliage Pro mixture in here. It's a little greener than it should be because I put too much in here on accident. I'm just gonna give them all a little bit of water. Not sure if you can see that. This one is my favorite because it's so full. Give him a lot of water. I think I put three cuttings in here, but he's so cute. I can't wait to find a pot for him. Yay, I'm so happy I don't have to deal with that prop box anymore. And this is the last one. So juicy and cute. And I also potted up my pathetic philodendron varicosum cutting. The camera's not even focusing because it's just so pathetic. Oh my god. I'm just gonna give just gonna give him a little oh, oh my god, I just literally filled the entire thing up. Now I'm just gonna go clean up and eat before we continue with the plant festivities because that was a lot. longer than a few minutes later. I just realized my bowl has two forks in it. 
While I'm eating, I've been looking at designs to paint those pots that I created in my last video because I still haven't painted them. I really like this green cow print. And I'm thinking I want to do cow print, probably not green, but that's an idea. Something like this for my snake plant pot, I definitely want to do. And then I have the pots that I did the spiral ones. I don't know what color I want to do those yet, but we will figure it out after I eat and check out some propagations. I feel like I should get on the floor. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet are my philodendron mamii propagations. They're currently propagating in water and they have some pretty good roots. A new growth point on this one. Right there we have a new leaf coming out. So excited for that. And then we have this one right here. And this is the newest leaf that came out. It looks a little bit discolored, but sometimes they do and then they harden off and look fine. So I'm hoping that happens with this one. I'm wicked excited for these propagations and they definitely could get potted up wicked soon, but it's just a matter of me wanting to do that. I had propagated my Birkin. I don't know if I told you guys, but she has grown her roots as well. Look at my Alocasia Jacqueline. She's so cute. I can't even believe I have this plant. I think I might get another corm because I got the smallest one when I ordered it, but I think I might get a large one so I can get bigger leaves potentially. Such a stunning plant. Look at all that texture. Wow. I'm gonna put that Philodendron Viracosum in there that we potted up today. I need a new varicosum too. I think I'm gonna order a varicosum and a alocasia jacqueline tonight. And then no more plants. Because honestly, I keep thinking about having to move eventually because eventually I do wanna move, obviously. How am I gonna move all of these plants in glass vessels? How am I gonna move my Monstera? Monstera Deliciosa. I'll show you guys an update on that when we're done this, but I didn't think about moving with plants until now. What else is in here? Oh my God! I didn't even realize. So this is my only elbow that is potted up right now. I took all of the other ones that I potted up out of the pot and back into water. One currently is rotting, but that's, a, that's an issue for a different day that I'll probably do off camera. But as for this one, this is the leaf that I propagated and it put out this leaf, which isn't very variegated. And it's putting out another leaf. I'm so excited because you really never know with Albo. This could turn into an amazing plant. I hope it does, but yay, I'm so excited for one successful Albo propagation pot up situation. Something else super cool that I wanted to show you. So originally I had taken one cut from my Philodendron Mamii and then I took another one. That's why I have two propagating Philodendron Mamii cuttings. And from the place that I cut from, from the place that I cut from, look at what's growing out of there, a new leaf. I'm super freaking pumped. And I didn't even notice that. Ooh. Where is it? I had noticed, where is it? I can't even see it on the camera. Where is it, where is it, where is it? This little thing growing right here. And I was keeping an eye on it because I thought that's where the new leaf was gonna come from. I didn't even see this long thing for a while until it got super big. So this is gonna grow and it makes me wanna propagate the entire freaking plant and I feel like I should. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see me propagate this entire plant in a future planty vlog. I also wanted to show you the new leaf on my Alocasia Dragon Scale. It's a lot bigger than this last leaf and it's shaped a little bit different. I love this Demogorgon looking leaf though. Oh my god, imagine this was my face. She has her little hole in the back so I can see where the water level is. She's still pretty good with water. I'm just gonna put these back. Does anybody in here need water? Does my mammy I need water? Oh my god, my mammy I always needs water. It's because the moss pole sucks up a lot of the water. 
I cannot wait to propagate this plant. I had potted up some Hoya Serpent cuttings. None of them, oops, you can barely see, but none of them had, none of them have died yet, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, it doesn't even need water. Look at that, oop. I also just wanted to show you guys this Plant Safe Raid. I use this all the time. I get a little bit of bugs inside of my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. Don't ask me how, I have no idea. But I stay stocked up on this house plant safe raid and it keeps it at bay. So I would definitely stock up on this. Um, I get it from Walmart. If you go on Amazon, it's wicked expensive, but at Walmart, it's $5 for this little can. last leaves that my pothos put out the leaves are super variegated look at these leaves on my golden pothos oh my god that's another reason why i don't want to move it from this corner because ever since i moved it it puts out the most perfect leaves ever i also have this monstera that we potted up a long time ago <gasps> Guys, look at this thing. You can barely see it. This corner is just a planty mess. It's time to finally paint all of these pots. I have those two. And this one that we're gonna do first with the cow print. I really wanna paint the cow print this light blue color. Oh, that's perfect, actually. That's, oh my gosh. But that's the blue that I'm doing. I don't know why I poured it in there first because I need to draw the cow print on. Where did my pencil go? This is literally the only pencil I have in my house. Look at the eraser. I don't even know how long I've had this pencil. Probably years. But I use a lot of pens. This is what I'm using for inspiration to draw the cow print on. And then I'm gonna paint it. I'm watching Manifest because I just finished watching Lock and Key because the new season comes out on August 10th. So I'm very excited to see that, but now I don't have anything to watch. I also watched that new show, Keep Breathing. It was all right. Not the best survival show, but yeah, I'm watching Manifest again. So I got on the cow print, and now the hard part is going to be to paint it because there's a plant in here.
guys, I finally finished my cow pot. I really like how it came out. It looks so freaking cute. I had to move it onto my yoga block because it was just too low to work on and my back was on fire. This literally took like an hour or maybe longer because I had to draw it and then I had to paint all this stuff on. So I'm gonna go put this back in my office spot.
that does bring me to the end of today's video give me a thumbs up if you made it this far subscribe to my channel for more planty content and until my next video bye guys